Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. This lab guide is on how to add guest user account in Microsoft Entra ID with Microsoft Entra Admin Center. You can use the Microsoft Entra Admin Center to invite B2B collaboration users to your organization using their own work, school or social account. You can invite guest users to the directory, to a group or to an application. After you invite a user through any of these methods, the invited user's account is added to Microsoft Entra ID with a user type of guest. The guest user must then redeem their invitation to access resources. An invitation of a user does not expire. Make sure your organization's external collaboration settings are configured such that you are allowed to invite guests. By default, all users and admins can invite guests. Sign in to the Microsoft Entra Admin Center with Global Administrator or User Administrator role. A role with guest invited privilege can also invite external users. Click on Go to Microsoft Entra ID. Click on Users and select All Users. Click on New User and select Invite External User. You are inviting the guest to your tenant using their email address. Enter the email address for the guest user you are inviting. Provide the display name for this guest user account. Don't forget to select Send Invite Message checkbox to customize a brief message to the guest. Type your message here. After entering custom invitation message, provide a CC recipient if necessary. After providing all the information, Click Next to move to Properties page. These properties can be added or updated after the guest user is created. And that's why at this moment, I'm not going to add or modify any existing properties of this guest user. Select Next. You can assign external users to a group or admin role when the account is created. You can assign the user to up to 20 groups or roles. Group and role assignments can be added after the user is created. Select Next to move to Review tab. Review the details and select the Invite button if everything looks good. An invitation email is automatically sent to the user on given email address. After you send the invitation, the user account is automatically added to the directory as a guest user. Click on Refresh. Now you can see the newly created guest user account with the name MBN Guest User 1. Under Creation Type, you can confirm it is with invitation. When you invite an external guest user by sending an email invitation, you can check the status of the invitation from the user's detail. Select the invited guest user. If the invitation state is pending acceptance, select the recent invitation link to send another email and follow the prompts. Since user hasn't accepted the invitation and that's why a guest user account status is pending acceptance. To accept the invitation, sign in to your taste guest user's email account. In your inbox, open the mail from Microsoft invitation on behalf of your organization. From the email, select Accept Invitation. For the guest user to be able to access your directory, they must complete the invitation process. Click on Send Code. This will send a verification code to your email account. Let's go back to our email account. Click on another email. Copy the account verification code. 
uh, paste your code here. After entering the verification code, click on sign in. So Microsoft will send an account verification code on given email address for the verification. A review permissions page opens in the browser. Uh, click on accept. And once you click on accept, the My Apps web page opens. Because we haven't assigned any apps to this guest user, you will see the message, there are no apps to show. In a real life scenario, you would add a guest user to an app, so the app would appear here. And after that, the guest user can access that application. Go back to Microsoft Entra Admin Center. Click on Refresh and again check the status of invitation. This time, it is accepted. Since a guest user has accepted the invitation and completed the invitation process, now B2B collaboration invitation state will change to accepted. Click on All Users. Click on Refresh. For guest user, on the identities, you can confirm it is male. And the creation type is also there, that is invitation. In this lab guide, you learn how to add a guest user account in Microsoft Entra ID Tenant. That's all for this lab guide. Stay tuned for more videos like this. See you all in the next lab guide.